Hey, Virgo. You got the... Hey. She's in Hollywood. I love this song for you, Virgo. I'm going to tell you why. All right. Even though the title of this song is strange, it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to tell you what interests me most when it came to your reading in this song. Hey, get it. Bitch, a side bitch, mistress, bullshit. I'm supposed to be the only one. Got the next bitch, a dumb bitch, the next bitch you playing me with. Got her thinking she's the only one. <laughs> hey, Virgo, listen. So in the month of May, it was all about boundaries for you. Like, you were like, listen, you ain't going to talk to me that way. Right? Okay. Comment below if I'm wrong. <laughs> but I know I'm not. Right? And then in the month of May, you also kind of put somebody in a place. Or somebody who deeply loved you or cared for you, did it for you. <laughs> yeah. Comment below if that's also true. You basically put somebody in a place in the month of May, right? But in the month of June, you're like... <laughs> Yeah, it's all about me, right? Or it's all about my relationship. It's all about what I desire. It's all about my happiness. Yes, Virgo. I'm loving your energy this season. I'm loving your energy because I feel like it's pure. Like, it's like a... Ah, it's like a really pure energy. And I'm loving it so much. Okay? So... At first, we have you basically dealing with some emotions where you're like, you know what? I want to break free. I don't want to live like this anymore. I think that we need to be more happy. Maybe we need to travel more together. And for some of you, you may be single. So for some of you, maybe you're feeling like you need to just mingle a little bit more, get out a bit more. Uh, maybe start dating a bit more, right? Maybe you're going through that phase. Okay, but for a lot of you that are dealing or involved in a, a, a deep um, connection, okay, I feel like this is a season where love actually is really beautiful for you. Where in the month of May, there was some a lot of decisions you had to make um, in regard to boundaries and people crossing the wires in return, right? Like you had to kind of step outside your comfort zone to kind of say exactly how you feel. And I feel like it's as crazy as it sounds, it wasn't really that difficult for you. I feel like you have had that happen, and now in the month of June, I feel like a lot of you feel a bit more free. You feel more authentic. You feel like more like yourself where you can take a vacation and not worry you can start dating and not worry you can start to begin to have children and not worry and that's a beautiful feeling that's a beautiful thing so I do feel like the connections that you did have with you know, a current person that you are dealing with, I feel like it's getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And I feel like, um, I feel like I just want you to be a bit more receptive to what this person is trying to tell you about themselves during the season. But I feel like it's a deeper connection. I don't feel like it's anything that's going to hurt you. I just feel like you just need to be more open to hearing what they need to tell you about their past or about whatever it is that they're currently dealing with at the moment. Um, I just feel like you are in a, a perfect alignment, in, in perfect space to say, okay, tell me a little bit more about yourself, you know? So if you are single, you know, this is a perfect time for you to really, truly get to know someone on every level, okay, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, like really, really getting to know someone, okay? Um... But I also see um, personal healing and happiness. And basically, that is 
you really just doing only those things that really truly resonate with who you are. Like you're no longer interested in just people's drama alone. Like you only want to be involved in things that pleases you, things that make you happy and things that make you smile, things that bring you joy. Like those are the only things that you are interested in these days. And it's unfortunate, but that is how it is because you've been through a lot. And at this point in your life, you don't really want to hear anything that was but the truth. And I feel like that's exactly what you're going to get is the truth. So whether this is a romantic relationship or whether this is someone that you're related to, like a, a sibling, maybe a child of yours, or maybe this could even be a parent, Virgo. I just feel like you're making some deeper connections when it comes to love during this season, okay? So it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. This can also be within your family, okay? This can even be your in-laws or people that you're dealing with or you know someone that you just recently started dating but this is really you know just saying you know what I'm going I'm okay with allowing the universe to um to bless me a little bit okay so I'm gonna shuffle one more card or two more cards whatever the universe is willing to give me Okay, look at that look at that oh my god I wish you guys can see this so I was shuffling your cards okay and the card that flew out just now was um, Goddess Kali, okay, which is endings and beginnings. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that card up. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Okay. So that is Goddess Kali. Actually, I said Kali, right? Kali. So, and this is the beginning. So, yeah, again, you guys are moving from this phase of what you thought you knew to what you actually can now verify. Like, okay, before I thought I knew this, but now I know for sure. I Before I thought that, I, that this man would be the one that to protect me and love me and provide for our household. But he has actually now shown me. So, this is really like the proof coming in just... In your face, like, here you go, you know? Um, so this is also in the beginning of situations. You may have been going through something for a while now, putting up with a certain personality or a certain environment, and maybe now things are moving along. You don't have to deal with that situation anymore. So this is good. Maybe now this is like I can focus back on things that really do matter to me, and I don't have to deal with that situation anymore. So this is a good thing. This is really about you, again, just making a lot of deep, deeper connections connections and really making the right choices when it comes to love and again it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic it can be with family or close friends someone that you really just deeply care for it doesn't have to be romantic okay but either way I do see endings and beginnings okay I also see personal healing and happiness so again you may be putting an end to something that just simply does not resonate with you any longer something that you thought used to work but now it just doesn't work anymore and you just are completely open-minded to finding out what can work for you and I think that is a beautiful uh, testimony for a lot of you because lately it hasn't been that way lately you've been kind of indecisive you know um trying to figure out exactly where you want to be and this moment you get that clarity for a lot of you, you did get the clarity in May, right? And then for some of you, you're still fighting for that clarity. You're like, look, I know I'm a good man. I know that I'm a good woman, you know? Why am I not finding my soulmate? What what is it about me or what am I doing wrong? Like a lot of you are really putting the pieces to the puzzle. You're really starving the different issues or concerns that you once have, once had. So it's no longer like it used to be. So now when you approach people, you are approaching people with a different eye, a different view, a different perspective 
Um, and you're looking at it more with an, an easygoing mentality. Like it's more love than it is pain coming from this environment. So that is really good. I feel like there's a shift coming your way, Virgo. And so for you, again, there's that energy where it's like, okay, I want to trust this, but I'm not sure. But then again, if I don't, then I'm going to regret it. So I feel like, you know, if you feel like in your heart that you really do need to just make a change, then go for it. Absolutely, because I do see Karen connection here. And it only means one thing, and it was upright position, so it definitely means that you need to just focus on those feelings that feel good. You know what I mean? Like, what does joy really feel like to you? I want you to really focus on those feelings, okay? And then I also see personal healing and happiness. So, basically, you're, you're at the, a perfect time in your, your mental space at the moment where you're going to focus only on those things that really, truly bring you joy. And you know what? A lot of people may, may and may not um understand but this is literally like the perfect season for you to thrive through your emotions where you don't mind showing how you feel and you don't mind telling someone you love them so this is going to be a good period of um elevation like growth for you where you don't really have to say too much you're just going to really be in in your in your uh in your actions okay well you don't really have to say too much everything you wanted to say or everything that you ever felt will literally be within your actions so this is one of those seasons where you don't necessarily have to say too much you know you can just do and people will naturally gravitate to you and you might find it strange at first like okay why are they talking to me? They never wanted to talk to me two weeks ago. Like, you know, you may find that a bit strange, but I promise you, whatever you do during this season, my love, will guarantee what the next six months will look like, and it will definitely determine your overall blessings for the next six months. So try your best to be courageous. Try your best to be open-minded. Try your best to be as loving as possible. Um, because yeah, the universe is definitely blessing you, Virgo, and it's definitely blessing you, Earth signs. I've been saying in all season that you know, you Earth signs are, you know, around this time of the year. Normally, you're thriving and you're going for it, you know. And I feel like this season, some of you are just kind of frightened because you've been going through some things and you've just been kind of frightened on what can happen next. But I'm here to remind you that the love is good, that God loves you, that, you know, that <laughs> that feeling when you felt like it just wasn't going to work out, you know, it is going to work out, okay? Because Capricorn is going through the same thing. Uh, you know, when it comes to insecurities, Taurus is going through the same thing. So this is definitely going to be a feeling of, like, rejuvenation, where it's like a whole new you, whole new vibe, whole new city, whole new people, you know, or you may just simply be releasing something, something may be walking away from you, maybe people are leaving your your space, and maybe that is bringing you the, the overall joy that you used to feel, right, where you are getting your space back, and you're not stingy, so it's like, okay, I'm getting my space back, I feel good, like, you will feel more um, at peace, knowing that your marriage is taken care of, that your health is taken care of, that everything else is taken care of. You won't have to worry too much. And I think that is the beauty of it all, Virgo. So, you know, if you do have Capricorn or Taurus in your birth chart, for example, as a sun, moon, or rising, or even a Venus, okay, and one of those signs, then please check out one of their videos because trust me you will not regret it it has a lot of um important information and like i said earth signs for some reason really really thrive during this season and lately you guys been feeling a bit of ways feeling really insecure and i feel like this moment is dedicated strictly to you earth signs because you have been going through some things for a while, and it is taking you a while to just accept it, okay? But I, I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to give up, Virgo. I want you to understand that something amazing is happening in the midst of that struggle, okay? I want you to keep the faith. 
So I'm going to move on. Please like and share this video around the world because everyone deserves to know about their Virgo reading. So I love you. Bye.